Hello everyone. I'm gonna chat for a minute with you. This is my current spot that I'm at right now. My Mount Olympus B and B. Dig this little part now behind me. <clears throat> anyway, today I want to talk about spirituality. Mine. Personally anyway. I can't speak for anybody else's. But I've never been into big religion. Never considered myself a part of. I was baptized Mormon just later on. Even that seemed to be something that, something that fell away. What stuck with Buddha, there's a, there's a documentary on the Buddha. It's PBS or something, but all you have to do is go on YouTube and type in the Buddha and it'll pop up. It's really cool. And you gotta watch it. It's kind of nice. They have. You want to learn about the Buddha? It's a nice little story. But I always <coughs> identified with the shaman. You know, my Cherokee heritage. I was like, I always thought that was cool. And um, I find out from my father that his dad's dad taught his father how to do some stuff. So the shinin, the head. You know, so that's where I got it from. It's my grandfather. I'm sure everybody has some abilities, but some people are stronger and, and it's some it's like almost like shaman or almost like it's DNA where you pass down from generation to generation the gifts. If you're that powerful, I think it does work like that. <clears throat> My philosophy has always been golden rule, treat other people how, how you want to be treated. And I've I've been learning a lot over the last year in my quest. To get away from the sorrow and the pain and suffering and well you're always gonna have suffering but the negative and the low vibration I found out about the high vibration I mean like for example bass bass music when people drive by in their cars bass music that makes me physically ill um, diesel engines just sitting there idling and if I'm standing next to it I physically will get sick to my stomach these are because they're low vibes, low vibration. It's weird how that works. Once you start getting, once you start vibrating higher, certain things just don't work for you anymore. Just you can't be around it. It makes you sick. It's like it repels you. Then there's the positive. You know, you're always you're po you know, when you when you're a high vibration human being, you're always happy, always thoughtful, you're caring about other people's feelings. You know, it's just that's why it, a lot of times they they suffer the most is because. Like empaths, you're so concerned about everybody except yourselves, and then you get burnt out because nobody's there to catch you when you fall. Right? That's kind of my situation. I had I I, I had nobody to catch me, and I fell hard. And getting back up was a tough one. And it's it's more, sometimes more complicated the more painful the the longer it takes. Mine was at least a ten year journey. That's a long time to not be right. I've been truly content with just peaceful and bliss. Just enjoying the moment. It's that bad. As you can see, I'm getting better. I've been getting better. I have all these videos. You know, in my transition, my evolution. But I want you to understand that everybody has it within them to, to be in line, to find your truth, to, to want to just be happy. Just to want to love yourself. Another one, loving yourself. How did I not love myself before? But you think you love yourself? Narcissists, they, they love themselves, but not in a positive, proper way. But anyway, I just thought that was kind of something I wanted to talk about. But anyway, I love you, God loves you, and the universe loves you. I want you to have a wonderful day. Take care of yourself, love yourself, and just rock it. Okay. Bye.